Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing episode 6 of the Dalek Invasion of Earth, which is Flashpoint, which automatically makes me start thinking about the DC Universe. Uh, I really enjoyed this final episode. It has a lot going on, and then it wraps up quick enough to give us that, you know, kind of extended ending with Susan's departure. I like the beginning when Ian's just pulling all of the wires out of that little machine they're sending down to the core, and he's in it, and he's just... <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it. I mean, I don't. it's hard to tell if he's actually planning any of it or if he's just yanking stuff at random. I, just, I love it. The little model shot of any time you see that little tube system right there on the side of the mountain or whatever that is, and it or the shaft they've dug, rather, when you see it moving up. I really like that model shot. It looks very convincing. I think it works better than black and white than it may have worked if they had done it in color. But in black and white, it pulls it off really well. I was actually really convinced any time we see that. Um, the, the bit where this does wrap up a little too neatly, a little too easily, a little... Day X Machina kind of, uh, but again, especially for what was at a sh at the time a children's show, it's fine. Uh, I, it's kind of odd that you know Barbara or somebody can just give an order to the Robo Men, have them turn on the Daleks that easily just by grabbing to the microphone and saying, you know, no password, no codes, it doesn't have to be a Dalek voice. I love her Dalek voice, blah blah blah. <laughs> However, she does it, <laughs> her pretending to be a Dalek. That's that's funny. Uh, but then again, the Daleks are so self-confident because they're the Daleks. Nobody's as good as the Daleks that they probably don't take precautions against that because they just don't think it's likely that could happen. You know, kind of like in Destiny of the Daleks when the Movellans and the Daleks are stuck in their stalemate. We know they're going to be stuck in that, but they can't see it. You know, the Doctor and Davros spot the problem immediately, but the Daleks and the Movellans don't. And I can see that here with the Daleks never just even entering into the thought of someone being able to get control of the Robomen like that. So it kind of makes sense to me um, why they're able to do that. And it's kind of neat seeing the Robomen turn on them. Uh, also, it's kind of weird when you just see all of the crowds beating up the Daleks and picking them up and lifting them. And you figured the Daleks would be there shooting people like, holy crap, they've turned on us. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is classic Who Daleks, so more like blah, blah, blah. But you think you figure they'd be shooting somebody. Maybe we're just not seeing that part. But instead, you just kind of see the Daleks getting lifted around and beat up, and they're just like, okay. But it's still cool. I enjoy it. I really like <clears throat> Hartnell in this. He is great in this episode. He has. A lot going on here. Uh, like I said, it wraps up fairly quickly. This episode really flew by. I mean, I still think it's like around 25 minutes, but it, it went quick. This episode goes really fast. Uh, it, it just it, it seemed like it just went right by really fast. Um, the goodbye with Susan was amazing. Of course, I've seen the clip before with his uh, one day I will come back speech, you know. Uh, but seeing the whole scene in context... You know, seeing her, seeing Susan anguishing over wanting to stay and wanting to protect the Doctor. Because especially since regeneration hadn't been introduced as a concept into the show yet, we don't even know if Susan knows about regeneration. Uh, you know, her grandfather's old, she wants to take care of him, but she does love David. We've seen them grow together over the course of the story. They did that, I think, pretty well. Um, seeing her upset at having to choose and... Seeing the first Doctor take the initiative and he pulls that lever and you just see the TARDIS go, door goes whoop, close on her. And she's upset about it. And I, I love everything he says to her there about, you know, I want you to belong somewhere. You know, I want you to have roots. I love that. That really adds to that scene. You know, your place is here with David. You know, I, I like that. That's really nice. Before it goes into the, I like when he tells her, you know, I've, I've double locked the doors uh, which is nice because, you know, that's something we see in Utopia in the modern series when the master gets in there. He's, you know, he double locks the door so the doctor can't get in. So it's kind of nice to see that here he's double locked the door so her keys won't work. That I love down in Utopia that is fitting in with canon. I love that. <clears throat> and, uh, and he tells her, you know, step back so I can see you. And then, of course, when he goes into all that, and that speech is amazing. The, you know, one day I, I will... 
come back. Yes, I will come back. That's a wonderful speech. It's a very, very wonderful speech, and Hartnell delivers it perfectly. And then, you know, he tells her goodbye, and the TARDIS leaves. And we see, you know, it's there, and then it's not. And Susan having to kind of come to terms with that, that she don't know if she'll ever see him again, since at the time he can't steer the thing. Uh, it, it was a really good episode. I think it's kind of weird she left the key there. I think I'd have kept that. You just never know. But other than that, um, I thought it was a really good episode. I'll have a review for the whole story coming soon. I wanted to do this episode and the whole story separate for this one. Uh, so that will be coming soon. But I really liked episode six. It really did get things uh, back back up. It, it just it flew by. I was enjoying it so much. What do you think of Flashpoint, the final episode to the Dalek invasion of Earth? So comment down below and let me know because I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Other things to do, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me that way. There is a link to that down in the description below. My entry level tier is only $2 a month and anyone who joins at any tier level gets a free video request for something they would like me to talk about. Doctor Who related or sci-fi related, whichever. Um, I want to give a special shout out to two of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane and the Fifth Doctor. I do appreciate their continued support. I also have a P.O. box if there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review. Uh, it's down in the description below, as is a link to my Amazon wish list. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.